And today, a judge sentenced Tim Burns to more than four years behind bars. A jury found him guilty of bilking investors out of thousands of dollars for a fish farm that was never built. Kettle Lands Perry Groton was in the courtroom as the judge handed down the sentence. Perry? Well, Don and Sammy, Kettle Land Investigates has been following the global aquaponics story since the very beginning. Earlier this summer, Tobias Reitzman was sentenced to nine years for his role in the scam. And now his partner, Tim Burns, is also headed to prison. Tim Burns didn't say anything as he left federal court following his sentencing for wire fraud. But in court, Burns apologized to each of the victims who invested thousands of dollars into his global aquaponics venture, saying his bad decisions cost them to lose large amounts of money. Burns said he thought the high-tech fish farm was a viable operation and had every expectation that it would succeed. But you know, when you get found guilty, you're sort of not in a position. You know, you take the incoming fire when everybody theorizes about what was in your mind. And my theory here was is that Mr. Burns thought this would work. It truly did. During the sentencing, prosecutors described a flow of money in which investments that went into an account for global aquaponics were then transferred into Burns' personal business accounts, often in the same day. The money paid for Burns' expenses that included credit card bills. Prosecutors say Burns misled investors about global aquaponics finances and that he only wanted the project to stay afloat so he could cover up his crimes. Mike Butler says Burns was misled by the man who started the project, Tobias Reitzman, who's now serving time in prison. Good morning, everyone. Reitzman was stealing people blind. He was gambling. Tim had no idea any of that was going on. And yet we tell a jury that if you think he should have known, then you find him guilty. I just don't agree with that at all. Now, Butler says an appeal is under consideration. Burns will have to surrender to authorities in two weeks to begin his sentence. He also has to pay thousands of dollars to his victims.